Oh, hi. This is Mike, Family DIY. T oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Hey, this is Mike, Family DIY TV on YouTube. And today, what I want to do is I want to try to answer one of the questions I get a lot in the comments. And I got one today. I'll put the comment up here. And I'm going to try to answer. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to help you out. And the question I keep getting is, how loud is this unit? Because it does have a heat pump. This is a hybrid water heater, right? And it has a heat pump on the top. Sucks air here, blows air here. So you can see actually it's moving a piece of paper. Everyone's worried about, not everyone, but there's a lot of people that are worried it's too loud for their house. So I wanna answer the question today. I wanna to show you how loud this unit is. And I'm gonna be able to give you the decibels it is, but I, for most people, and for me actually, I don't, if I tell you it's 60 decibels, it means nothing. So what I'm gonna to try to do is try to measure it, how loud it is, and then replicate that sound with other things around my house. And I'm also gonna give you a tool on your iPhone that you can use to measure uh, decibels as well, so you'll know if you're actually replicating the same sound as this, or at least getting it pretty close. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is I have an app here and I'm gonna show you at the end what app this is so you can replicate it. This unit is on full blast right now. I have it fully turned up, so it's as loud as it's gonna be. So let's see how loud this unit is. We'll be quiet. Okay, so this is 67 decibels and this is telling me it's kind of as loud as a conversation in an office. So I'm gonna put 67 decibels. The next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna close the door. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it 50. So with the door closed, it's 50 decibels, okay? So there's about a, um, a 17 decibel difference. I don't know what that even means, honestly. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna turn the unit off. So let's turn the unit off. Turn off, there we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure what this the ambient sound is with it completely off, all right? Okay, we're gonna call that 40. So the ambient sound and I'm is 40. And you know what, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna close this door, I'm gonna come out here, it should be, it should be the same. Okay, yeah, it's 40. So, okay, so the ambient sound is, is 40. Um, so it, with it off, it's 40. With it on and being inside the closet, it's 67. And with the door closed, and this is not a sealed door. I don't even have trim on this yet. Um, I don't know if you've seen a video on the when day. I hung this. I'm pretty embarrassed. I should have trim on it by now. <laughs> but um, I don't even have trim on it. You actually see right through. It's 50. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go around the house. We're going to find things that are 67 decibels and around 57 and around 50 decibels. Um, and what I think that'll do is that'll help you make those sounds in your house and you know replicate what the sound this would be so let's go start let's go do that all right so let's see how loud a sump, uh, sump pump is uh that's that's really loud I, I we're gonna call that like 90. so i don't even think that even makes sense but we're gonna say sub pump is like 90 decibels okay so my wife's trying to cook dinner so i gotta make this really quick okay mm -hmm. so let's see how loud just running water is so I'm gonna call that around 75. 70. Okay, now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna see how loud are kids. <laughs> You're actually not kids. that loud. You're about 90. Okay, so, oh, this is one. So I have responded to a lot of comments saying that I think the hybrid water heater fan, the sound that it makes, is about as loud as a microwave running. Okay, so let's test that theory. I'm gonna turn this on. And we're going to let this go. Okay, and I think we're gonna call it around 60. So 60 decibels, the microwave makes around 60 decibels. So microwave 60, water heater 67. So we probably wanna find something around the house that's around 70, um, probably would make the most sense. So we're gonna keep looking. Okay, so another one we got, hair dryer, hair dryer on low. Hair dryer on high. It's really weird. So a hair dryer on low was like 75. Hair dryer on high was like 80. So we're gonna do 75 to 80 for hair dryer. So let's test an impact. Wow, 80, 80. 
So drill is an eight, is 80. Drill is about as loud as a hair dryer. All right, air compressor. Let's see how loud that is. 85. All right, a dryer. How loud is a dryer? I don't know. A dryer, 76. All right, keep this one up here because no one wants to see this one. Toilet. I don't even know. All right, never mind. All right, toaster. Yeah, that doesn't, doesn't make any noise. All right, toaster uh, disqualified. I found if you have a KitchenAid, what you could do to replicate the sound. So what you wanna do, put this unit in the closet, put it on speed two. That makes around 70 decibels, which is right, which is the same amount of decibels as the hybrid water heater makes. So what you would do is put this in the closet, close the door, to where the uh, water heater is going to be installed and see if you can hear it. If you can hear this, then you'll hear the hybrid water heater, most likely. I mean, it's just an exact, right? But it at least gives you something you can go with. Or you can throw a microwave in there, turn that on, close the door, and that'll also, that might also tell, um, replicate the sound. All right, so let's recap this. I'm going to show you the app that I'm using because then maybe you can actually do the same experiment. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So what did we learn here? Um, we learned that a water heater, a hybrid water heater, makes about 67 decibels of sound, okay? If you put it behind the door and you close the door, it's around 50 on the other side of the door, okay? There's two things in your house that might be able to replicate the sound that a hybrid water heater will make. It's a KitchenAid on speed two or a microwave. So what you could do is you could put one of those two or both of them into a closet or wherever your water heater is going to be, turn them on, close the door, and see if you can hear them, okay? Maybe you'll be able to hear them, but that's about as loud, I believe that's about as loud that the hybrid water heater will be, okay? Um, we found out that a sub pump, running water, kids, hair dryer, drill, air compressor, clothes dryer, flushing toilet, all this stuff is actually louder than a hybrid water heater, okay? So that's pretty cool. Um, the last thing, you can kind of do the same experiment and I'll put the numbers up of all the different decibels right up here. And I'm going to, I'm going to, hopefully I put them in the video. Um, but what I'm going to show you is that actually the app that I used. So the app was free and I tried a bunch of them and a lot of you to pay for, it. but this is called decibel meter. Um, I'll zoom in on it, maybe do a screenshot of it. Okay. So this is the app. You open it up and it basically, it's real simple to use. You can, you, you know, you'll figure it out. Okay. Um, before I go, I want to ask you to please subscribe uh, to the channel if you found this information helpful. And if you have any other questions around a hybrid water heater, what I would really suggest you to do is to click on the playlist that I'm going to link right here. because I have a bunch of videos on hybrid water heaters um, about venting, how much money they save. Do they save you any money? Do they make your house cold? How long does it take to pay back on a unit like that? Because they do cost a lot more than just a conventional electric water heater. Okay. Um, but please like. Please subscribe, please share, and please leave me a comment below. I'm out. Okay, so I was editing this video, and there's something I should have mentioned when I was doing the video, but you know, hindsight's 2020, right? So if you decide that 67, 70 decibels is too loud for your house, what you could do, you have another option, right? What you could do is you could use the Econet app, so the app that comes with the unit, and actually set it to run during a time when either you're not home or maybe when you're sleeping or you're dead asleep, you know, maybe like run it at midnight, right? You won't hear it kick on or run it during the day when you're at the office. So this is just another option, um, just something else to throw out there. The Econet app is great. I actually did a video on it. I'll link it to it or just look at the playlist. You'll see it. But I know, I hope, I hope something this helps you out. If it did, you know, that'd be a good thing. Thank you.